My Diecast Misfits build and its updated glory is all under here with its decals. And I'm just here to make an updated video. Let's see what this thing looks like. So we are going to unveil this thing with toilet paper again. Hopefully this time it doesn't explode or anything. And uh, so my decals finally arrived um, while I was gone at school. If you're wondering what I'm doing back at the house, um, there's these fun things known as weekends and thank God they exist or else I would go mentally insane. But here we are now. It's, it's a weekend. I'm recording some videos. Um, I might as well show a few customs I have in the works at the moment. Um, one of them is this little Mazda RX-7 with these 10-spoke uh, reel riders. And uh, now I'm just waiting for my decals to show up for this guy, and then this guy will be done. This isn't a build of any kind, like for a build-off at all. This is just a random build. Um, this is going to be a restoration from... Uh, this is a pickup from the little... There's like a little thrift store where I am where they have a bunch of like these loose cars and they have them for like 50 to 75 cents. So I'm going to restore this one. And uh, I, I guess now before we bore you guys out even more, uh, let's do the unveiling. Three, two, one. Oh, yes. This thing looks 10 times better than it did before. And honestly, I should have recommended this. If you didn't check out the first video, you should have probably have done that before you check this one out. But I think a lot of you have checked that one out by the show of love that that video received. So a massive thank you to everybody. But there's a few things I forgot to mention the last time with this custom. I had to make custom axles out of uh, Q-tips. I don't know if you can see that. There's like a white end. Yeah, right there. Right here, there's like a white end. And that's a, actually like a tubing to a Q-tip. So I cut the tips off and then I fitted it in so I could have enough room. Because the axles for this car initially were way too short for it to work. So I had to make these custom axles to get the wheels I wanted. Which I went with these purple four spokes. And honestly... These decals are the thing that really saves it. I got these decals from Mod My Ride. He has some spectacular decals. And I am so glad that they really just contrast well with this car. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to leave a like, share, and subscribe. Especially if you really like how this one ended. And happy hunting and stay safe.